Welcome to another lesson in the TI30X Plus Math Print student course. In this lesson, we introduce the data editor and list formulas feature. We're going to do this via a simple example. The example says, copy and complete the following table of values for the linear function y equals 3x plus 6. And you'll note that the x values uh, start at negative 3 and go through to 2. To access the lists, press the data button and that takes you to the lists. If needed, press data and either scroll down to number 4 or press number 4 to clear all lists. In other words, if you have um, used lists previously and you need to clear those numbers, uh, press number 4 and that will clear all the lists. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to enter the X values into list one or L1. And so we're going to start with negative three. And remember, when you're entering a negative number, use the negation key and then press enter. Then we're going to enter negative two, enter, negative one, enter, zero, enter, one, enter, two, enter. So these six values are now displayed in list one or L1. What we need to do now is to move to list two. So we're going to press our big button to the right, and that takes us to the top of L2 or list two. And now we're going to, in this list, enter a formula. And the formula is going to be related to our linear function 3x plus 6, or y equals 3x plus 6. So what we do now is we press data, scroll across to highlight formula, and note there that number one is add edit formula. So we're going to, in the language of lists, add a formula. So we press uh, enter. And what we're going to say now is we're going to say that uh, any entry in list two is going to be three times the corresponding value in list one plus six. So in other words, we're going to build a formula. So what we do now is we um, enter three, press the multiplication key. Now to paste L1 onto the author line, press data and up comes the names menu. And all we need to do is press one or enter and that pastes L1 onto the author line. Then we press a plus, enter the six and then press enter. And what we have now is for each corresponding X value, a corresponding Y value. So for example, when X equals negative three, Y equals negative three. Scrolling down, when x equals 0, y equals 6. So in other words, L2 now displays the values negative 3, 0, 3, 6, 9, and 12. So the table of values for y equals 3x plus 6 for these x values can now be completed. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.